Okay, so as you said, I won't keep you much longer, but we'll just finish with the, the kind of the more abstract questions I mentioned to yep. before we started. Um, as a, as a general rule, just kind of say what say whatever you think at the time of me asking the question. Obviously, uh, it can change in about thirty seconds' time, but whatever answer you give then will be will be fine. So, uh, first question would be: What's your favourite word? Probably. And what's your least favourite word? Whatever. Specifically in that spelling or? Yes. Uh, what's your, your favourite sound? Sound. Just any abstract thing? Water. Like, what's your least favourite sound? High pitched things. Children screaming. Okay. Uh, so, what profession other than the one you currently hold a position in would you like to attempt? I'd like to be something to do with film or television. I'd like to make a television programme or make a film. And uh, what profession, other than the one you currently hold a position in, would you not like to attempt? Oh, shucks, that's going to insult somebody somewhere along the line, aren't I? By saying, I definitely don't want to go working for anything to do with a ticket agency or a bank. And uh, what's your favourite listening medium, as in what form the music's in? Radio. Of? Radio? Uh -huh. Without a shadow. Uh, do you have a favourite listening environment? Would it be kitchen? Kitchen. Uh, While cooking. Yeah. <laughs> Radio. Cook, cooking as opposed to keyboard kitchen. Yeah. So uh, again, these are, these are the questions that we're kind of what you're thinking right now is where the or is the is the answer, and it it can change soon. But uh, what's your favorite artist? Um. Okay. Over all these years, it's a toss up between the jazzier side, which is. Steely Dan, mm -hmm. and the rockier side, which has got to be um, Leonard Skinner. Yeah, uh, that's, that's quite interesting actually. In terms of uh, Cheryl, Cheryl Scott was an interesting one because she said that she was. She said that it would probably change in five minutes, mm -hmm. and and it pro and it might do. But like having artists that you come back to is something that's kind of uh, even James Taylor. No, I have my that Steely Dan's my cozy blanket. Uh -huh. Um, I need that every so often, quite. I'm totally the same way, yeah. And I need Leonard Skinner because I need to remember how to rock. Mm -hmm. And the whole thing that, you know, when it, when you play, not the, necessarily the Freebirds and the Sweet Home Alabamas, but when you see even Queen, you know, um, as a band, you know, Oscar, my son, my my reason for living, my 13-year-old now he is, heard Queen for the first time, he just went, Poof, you know, yeah. what's that? And he's assaulted with music, but he just he listens to Queen and just goes, that's just top, because it's quality. Mm -hmm. And it's the same with films, he'll just like pick up, you know, that certain films, certain actors, certain things. Uh, and uh, Anyway, I'm rattling away. And um, what's your favourite album? Oh, I've said, said Steely Dan, so it's going to have to be Asia yep. by Steely Dan. And, and the Leonard Skinner album would have to be Second Helping, which is their second album. Although the first one's really good too. It's got... It's not, the second one's not got Freebird, but it's got things like Working for the MCA, and it's just a piano playing my rock band. It's just... I want to do that. <laughs> Yeah, and so then, I learn all my licks from these two bands. Yeah, and then I, and then I'll, I'll pigeonhole you slightly and say what's your favourite song. Um, oh no, that, that's a tough one. I've got to choose another artist. And I mean, I could. Well, you could keep. You could keep going. It's just that obviously focusing down to one to one small three and a half minutes of. No, my favourite song for a bizarre reason is a song called September by Earth, Wind and Fire. It just makes me want to dance. It does, it cheers me up. It's Earth, Wind and Fire are the most incredible musicians ever made on this planet when it yeah. comes to, there's about 20 of them on stage. But this song, September, um, it's funk. I couldn't play it, but, you know, because I don't believe that us white people are particularly good at funk. You know, um, Apart from the average white band, but um, there's not really many good funk bands that are white, but 
So you've got to get a leave. I like soul music, but I would I would have to say September is a song that I've always, uh, um, you know, after the love is gone and, and all that stuff. Yeah. But if I'm making a, a solid choice here, I've chosen Steely Dan, it would have to be... Um, oh, it's so tough. Um, Kid Charlemagne by Steely Dan. And my favourite Leonard Skinner song would have to be... And it's not Freebird, OK? And it's not Sweet Home Alabama. Blah, blah. It'd have to be Working for MCA. There you go. There you go. Uh, Jim, an absolute pleasure. Thank you for your time. Thank you. And all the best for the future. Thanks a lot.